guys, welcome back again to Dave's Dimension. Welcome back again for another video. Welcome back to the channel where chaos and insanity will reign supreme as always, guys. Now, this video is going to be a little bit different. Uh, it's not your basic YouTube video this time around. We're not unboxing. We're not reviewing everything. We're actually going to talk upgrades. Now, whether you have your own channel or maybe you're a gamer, maybe you want to start streaming, or maybe you just want to find some balance you're working from home and you want to find some kind of balance with everything that's what this video is going to be about we're going to talk about a few things i'm not gonna we're not going to be suggesting any actual products but here are the questions that you want to ask yourself okay guys one i've been watching a lot of youtube videos because i'm wanting to change things around i want to try and upgrade i want to try and maximize my space here in the dimension now, if you're a follower of the channel, you guys know that, one, I don't live in a house. I live in an apartment, okay? So, if you're in an apartment, one, you really can't drill into your walls. You know, if you want to put a floating desk. Or, if you live in an apartment, you may not have the space nor the resources to build or put together, like, the IKEA. So many people suggest the IKEA desk, and I'm not knocking them. But, honestly, I don't have an Ikea near me, you know? There's a lot of us, we don't have Ikeas nearby, you know? Nearest Ikea might be two or three states away, in some cases. Yes, you could ship them, but also when you get it, that is one, if it arrives in good condition. And two, well, now, do you even have the space where you can assemble that desk? That's another thing. Now these are all questions so what i'm going to be doing is i want to bring up suggestions or bring up ideas as to if you're going to make a change to your room to your studio well what are your options do you have limited space do you have open space do you have an empty room that's not even being utilized these are questions you want to ask yourself one placement of a window one of my big, biggest issues is right here I have a window I don't open it up I don't use it for anything but I have blinds that are closed all the time guys let me show you see we have blinds here okay and also I have an air duct right there and that's pretty much the dimension and honestly you guys have seen this before let me just move this out of the way okay I have bookshelves now I was using bookshelves to cover up and excuse the mess at the bottom there but I have totes here all these totes uh, they are miscellaneous items they are Christmas decorations uh, family keepsakes things that we want to keep preserved and stored now instead of you know running a storage locker uh, that's what we keep in the room here now I was trying to through my own lack of having better ideas I bought some bookshelves like you would buy at Walmart, I threw them together so that we could have something for all my figures and collectibles to display. And yes, in the far corner you can see I have a lot of boxes. I have boxes and stuff right here. I need to go through that and clean that out. I still have a backlog of about maybe 10 or 12 black series figures which I have yet to unbox but that's one of the things also if you guys are familiar with the dimension well you see I have monitors here these are not by choice uh, I work from home due to everything going on in the world so I have to keep these monitors right on the same desk that I have my regular computer so that's the thing and again I have a messy desk so please excuse this now Here's the dimension, okay? We have my two monitors right here. We have the dimensional grid, the computer itself. And then we have my two work monitors, my keyboard, my mouse. And I actually have my work computer underneath there with the mouse and with the router. Or not with the mouse, but with the modem and the router itself. So everything's kind of congested. And honestly, I'm going to show you guys everything. I'm, I'm being completely honest I have toolboxes I have a storage case right there and then we have some more stuff that's in a little container right there 
So, um, one of the things that I'm thinking of doing is, well, one, and also, by the way, the desk I use is pretty beat up, and it's very loose. It's not the most sturdiest thing in the world, so I'm actually thinking of scrapping this desk and getting something else. Problem is, a lot of desks can be pretty pricey, and if you're on a budget, what are you to do? Now, I've been looking at Amazon the past day and a half, and there's some alternatives, there's some nice gaming desks, but the question is, do you use this just for gaming? Do you use it just for work? Or do you also, are you going to use this desk for other purposes? Now, the reason why I bring that up is, you, if you guys know me, you know I'm a Ghostbuster. I've done some, some work on some props. There's my Fusion Proton Pack is face down because I'm making some repairs to it. Now, just to show you guys, see these holes right here? I have several holes going across the length. I've got some chips. This is not the greatest quality. This is basically very thick fiberboard with a paneling strip right on it, guys. You can see that right there, okay? It's not the greatest, but it's not the greatest, but it's what I have. Now, I have worked on props right on here. So this is not just a desk. It's just not it's not just a workspace. It's not just my gaming space, but it's my studio it is my workshop okay so my thoughts on at least what i'm thinking about doing is i'm thinking about taking those bookshelves and possibly one or two from the wall here and putting them over the window here one of the reasons why i'm thinking that is now i live in the northeast okay i live in new york state just outside of buffalo Buffalo, New York, you know we're known for our winters, cold winds. A lot of times I get cold air coming from this window. Now last year I was able to put a little bit of a ceiling strip over it. It helped a little bit, but I still had cold coming through the wall. It was not 100% foolproof. So what I'm thinking is I might put another strip on there, but I might take those cases and bring them over here with one of the other cases possibly the Power Ranger one might be the end cap right before my Ghostbuster stuff right there okay and I have a small beat up old table that I might actually rotate to be flush lengthwise against the wall so I can display my proton packs right underneath my Ghostbuster memorabilia and collectibles because we obviously we got the Ghostbuster case right there and I got some Ghostbuster stuff on the top of that so the thought would be, do I want to go with another L-shaped desk or do I want to go with something straight? Now, due to some friends and some suggestions, I have come across some straight desks. Now, what I could do is, I could actually do two straight desks right across. Now, obviously, I have a lot of mess here. And again, excuse it, but let's be perfectly honest. If you're in an apartment or you're in a house it's not always going to be a hundred percent clean all the time guys let's be realistic let's be honest okay also this is my home is me my wife and our three cats and life can be very chaotic at times especially after this past year so these are the questions one do you have now me unfortunately i don't have access to a garage i don't have access to a yard where i can maybe get a section of uh, maybe a wood door or some other tabletop from like Home Depot, Lowe's or someplace like that. I don't have, yes, I could go to those places and I could purchase those, uh, those supplies, but one, what am I going to do? I don't have space where I can cut them up. Could I do it here in the apartments? If push comes to shove, if I was in dire straits, I probably could. Or what do I do? Do I ask someone hey can i borrow your yard for the day i don't want to cut and make some changes but see then let's say my measurements are a little off then i gotta bring it i gotta bring those supplies those boards whatever cabinets i might be using i have to bring them all the way home see if they fit if they don't fit then i have to go back to that person's yard or that person's garage and make some adjustments it's it's not an easy proposition for us okay could I close the door here to keep the cats out? Sure. 
then I have to get my hands on the proper power tools. I don't have a circular saw. I don't have a buzz saw that I can use. I have a hand saw, but even then, it's a, a hand saw is going to take a very long time. And you're not going to get very accurate results with that. So there are there are a lot of issues here. If you're limited like I am, you have to come up with compromise. Now these are cheap little bookshelves. They're basically three shelf or three tier uh, that I have on top of each other, and I actually have them held by tape. You can't see it, but they're held by tape. Okay. So those are the questions you have to ask. One, your space. Okay, you have to figure out what space you have and how you can rotate and shift things to make it work for you. Now, personally, I think putting my bookcases along the, the window here are going to help, especially wintertime, because right now, when I'm sitting here and I'm working, I'm taking my calls, I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing during my work days, I have the cold air not just coming from the window, but come also coming through the wall itself. The walls are not super insulated here, unfortunately. That's an issue. So, here's the question. If I move my desk over here, one, I'm further away from the cold air, so I'm not getting the cold air. As an asthmatic and diabetic, I have health concerns. So, that keeps me away from the cold air. So, that's a good thing. Also, if I'm faced over here, here's the thing. Back side of this wall is not the outside. Back side of this wall is actually there's kind of like a duplex that's right against the building so that's other other apartments so i don't have to worry about cold air passing through there on the other side of the wall is a bedroom so again i don't have to worry about cold air coming from here usually when you have hot air i do have an air vent right above here i have basically conduits or should i say more vents that are going through there there's one exhaust vents right here but the venting itself channels all the way through. So I'm going to be in a more central warm warm spot within the room itself. So that should provide better circumstances for the winter time. Also, as someone who has a budding YouTube channel, okay? Now obviously you guys can see that little between the one case with the Power Ranger stuff and then the other case with the Marvel stuff, you can see I have a stack. I'm storing stuff back there. You can see that. That's an eyesore. Obviously, very clearly, it's an eyesore, guys. So, by me moving those cases, by moving them over here, one, I free up that space so now I can put a desk back there. Also, if the desk is right against the totes, the monitors are obviously going to be in front of the, to the totes, but the camera is going to be facing directly at me. And guess what? The camera would then be facing over. Basically, I would have the desk right here, guys. Okay? And then it would be facing the Ghostbuster stuff right here. So this would be my new backdrop, guys. Okay? So that Ghostbusters section, those frames that, that you see right there, that will be my new backdrop. And where those bookcases are right now would be where my desk would be. Now, obviously for winter coming up, Christmas time, holidays, I'll be able to access those totes a lot easier than what they are right now. So right now, I see that as being a win-win. Now, I might just try and replace some of those shelves with something I don't know yet uh, another concern is well one another good thing about me do, doing this if I do do this is I get to kind of restructure all my wires I get to do some proper cable management now I have two cats that are 12 and 9 and we have a kitten well, she's not really a kitten but she's still a small little sprite River, she is going on, I think, five going on six months now. She loves to claw at everything. So, that's another motivation for me to do cable management so she can't get to those wires. So, but the question is do I want to try and go with another L shaped desk? Or do I want to go with two desks that I can do side by side? That's the question. So, that's what I need to figure out. 
that's my situation. What is your situation, guys? Do you have? Do you think I'm overlooking anything right now? Do you think you have a suggestion as to how to better manage things? Now, everyone's suggestion is different. That's why I wanted to do this video. Because I'm seeing all these videos. I'm looking for cheap computer desks or gaming desks for a uh, budget. And they're showing $500, $400 desks, $600 desks. One, a lot of us out there cannot necessarily afford that. I mean, yes, I get that it's an event, it's an investment, guys. It is, but we can't necessarily afford that. Okay, that's one of the issues too. I would love to do an IKEA desk. I think they look awesome with the storage, the the drawers that they have underneath, and also the nice seamless one piece as a as a desktop. You know, and there's a lot you can do with that. You can do some LED, some uh, RGBs right underneath. There's a lot of things you can do with it, but I don't have the space nor the resources to do it myself. So that's the thing. You have to know your limitations. You have to know your limitations on space. You have to be conscious of your financial limitations. You don't want to overextend yourself and find yourself in a very compromised situation. And three, what resources do you have? Do you have a friend or a family member who is near your home who can help you with, with these things? If you do, great, awesome. But not everyone's gonna have those resources. Some people, it's easier said than done. Take a look at some other channels. You'll see that, you know, some people don't even have a proper desk. I know people who, they do their streams using a folding table or a card table, you know? You use what you have. My dad always told me, if you don't have the tools, you make them. You, you work with what you have, okay? This was a guy who would patch a hole in, ex in an exhaust pipe on a car with a soup can and hose clamps, okay? He was a man that would find pieces laying around and he would make shifts. He would make something out of it, okay? My dad was a MacGyver didn't always work long, long term but you trial and error you try different things this is what I've tried for the past couple years I've been using this desk I finally have a new computer I want to try and reorganize things a little bit better in the dimension I think it's time <clears throat> so that's where we're at guys but where are you at okay if you're looking for a desk what are you looking for are you looking for an L shape or are you looking for more of a computer desk I've seen some shorter width ones. Now, see, mine Mine is actually made of two sections here, guys, okay? So, we have this section right here, which I'm actually going to measure right in front of you guys. And yes, I know, my desk is a mess. That's another thing. When I get everything reorganized, I want to get everything situated and reorganized nice and proper-like, okay? So... Let's move this out of the way. And also, I have these very basic Logitech speakers. I'm thinking of, if I do it, maybe mounting them underneath the desk. But I don't know how well that would work sound-wise. So, got our tape measure right here. So, from here to here, we have about 41 and a half inches. That's 41 and a half. And now we're going to measure the other length. Okay, from where the desk meets to the edge. And we have about 47 and a quarter. Okay, so we got 41 and 47. Do the math. What is it? It's 88. And then you figure we have a half and a quarter. We'll round that off to one. So we have about 89 inches of real estate to work with. Okay. So that's 89 inches of length that I need to have so I can have both desks set up. Or both computers, I should say. Now, from the back to the front, we're looking at about just under 19 inches. And let's measure it, because another thing is, if you're a big guy, you know what else you need to measure. You want to have leg room underneath your desk. How many times have you, maybe when you were a kid, teenager, you had a little desk at home 
and maybe you couldn't put your legs underneath because you had that little rollout tray for your keyboard. I hate those. So let's measure the bottom guys. From the floor up. We're looking at just over 28, excuse me, about 28 and a half as far as height. Now, a lot of computer desks will go to 30. And I think that's going to be the safe one for you guys. If you're a big person or you got big thighs, you know, you want to have plenty of leg room. If you're a little bit shorter, you know, maybe you can go with something a, a little bit shorter than But you want to make sure what your dimensions are. This is what, no pun intended, you want to know the dimensions of your desk. Not the fourth dimension or the third dimension. So now we know our length and our height. So that's the question. Do I, I always like the, the L shape because I'm here, I have my two monitors right here, guys. And then I'm over here at my work, compu work computer. You know, have my headphones, got the two monitors. Now, this is not a permanent situation. Yeah, well, it's kind of been my situation for the past year and a half because of, you know what. Um, I would love to have some kind of setup where I didn't have these type of monitors, but these this is work equipment. I can't just dispose of these and get some some other monitors it's not a possibility one thing i'm also looking is to get some kind of a riser shelf so i can raise these up and i could still have some storage space underneath here i could put stuff underneath here or to raise this up so that i have a little bit more real estate when i'm assembling things here so those are a couple different ideas that i'm working with i know this is turning into a long video guys but i wanted to bring these concerns to you one you have to be concerned of one do you have a house is it a level floor i live in an apartment some points in the floor are not leveled and guess what my apartment is wall to wall carpeting guys wall to wall carpeting throughout the entire apartment i wish we had floor that we could just rely on a nice wood floor i would love that kind of aesthetic but also you get a lot of dust you get a lot of dirt so there's a trade-off everywhere now I have this computer on the desk and I want to keep that kind of a situation. I don't want to put it on the floor. I did have a, a block of wood, a nice flat shelf that was not being used by the uh, cabinets here uh, that I was using for the old computer. But the old computer was still gathering dust over time. If you keep it close towards a carpeted floor, it will collect dust even if it's raised up. So that's one of my issues. It's still going to collect dust. I mean, on average, I would say that if not every month, every two, even three months, I think might be pushing it. I think every three, two to three months, you want to open up your tower and clean it out with dust. Okay. I think that is a very efficient way to go about things because dust will collect. Okay. You could have a housekeeper cleaning every single room. Dust will still manifest guys. Us as humans, layers of skin do come off. Doesn't come off like a sheet of paper, but you have layers of skin that that's where dust is coming from. Okay. So, I mean, these are all concerns. <coughs> so speaking of budgets, let's take a look at a few things here, guys. What do you say? What do you say? Okay. I know I'm a crazy person. Mind us, I want to want it. There we go. Display capture. Let's do it. Okay, I was on YouTube looking at a few things, so here we go. Now, this is one desk I was looking at. This is an L shaped variation. One of my friends, a uh, former uh, co worker of mine, actually recommended this. Now, they have different versions here, okay. Now, with this. 51 uh 55.1 see it's a very basic frame here i really like that that basic frame looks really good so let's just bring that one up come on okay so we got this frame this frame these connect and then we mount the, the top to it 
seems pretty simple, pretty basic, right? Also, another good thing about this kind of a frame is cable management, guys. Okay? With some proper hooks, and I found some really nice ones on Amazon. I'm going to show you guys in a few minutes here. Um, we got some, some little plastic buckles that connect via adhesive strips, so you can actually run your cable management and keep everything nice and fine. Now, the only downside is there's no holes in here. There's no holes in the desk. I mean, that's something you could do if you want to, or, you know, a very simple, very low-tech way to resolve that kind of an issue is, guess what, guys? Zip ties. Now, I happen to have some white ones, but you can get some black ones, because most of your cable wiring for whether your monitors, your USB, it's going to be black. So why not get some, you know, go to Harbor Freight, hell, even a dollar store, and pick up a bunch of these very cheap, inexpensive zip ties. They will work. Now, if you're going to be changing your cables all the time, you might want to go with some Velcro strips, which you can also get from Amazon. Now, I'm going to show you guys a few things here. I've been look well, if you notice here, uh, here we go. You notice here I've actually got a few I got a whole bunch of things here I'm planning to do a lot of upgrading to the dimension once I get a desk now these are the strips I'm talking about it is e-boot adjustable cable clips adhesive nylon wire clamps black and a 50 pack look at this guys 955 if you're an Amazon Prime member you can get basically for under ten dollars plus tax you get 50 of these bad boys that's 50. They got a little 3M, little adhesive strip. You peel that back. You attach it to your the frame of your desk or the underside of the wood of your t desktop. I mean, you can look. They even have them on the walls to help with cable management. Uh, there's a YouTuber I follow called Jay's Two Cents, and one of his biggest things is about cable management. And let's be honest. You don't want your wires all over the place. You want them to look very nice and streamlined. You want it to look as if there is almost no wires whatsoever. So that's the thing you guys can try to do. Uh, personally, I'm going to buy a pack of these. And I'm going to include them in a later video. So I want to show you guys exactly what I think of these. Now, these are the Velcro ones I mentioned before. Okay. This is just one example. This is not one I'm recommending. Okay, these are some big ones. But they have smaller ones that you can use for cable management for you know if you're a worker you have stuff set aside I mean you can even use this stuff on a bicycle like they show right here guys there's different things you can do they have smaller ones here guys like for example okay here's some again zip ties zip ties are a very basic way of go about going about it you can have ones that you have to mount and screw into your wall here's another variation right here clear or semi-clear plastic uh, connections there's different tubes you can use there's a lot of different stuff there's conduits you can use for this kind of thing there's a lot out there guys okay there's a lot out there I think for 950 uh, 955 for 50 of them that's a pretty damn good deal I'll have plenty that I can use them for the TV in the front room I'll, you know to keep better cable manage the TV the Xbox, the cable box, everything that we have out there. So those are all things you want to play with. Now, another thing I was even looking at was this is a, a mouse holder, okay? It's also a USB hub, and it's got some very cool RGB, which would go with my current setup. So what it is is you actually put your, you kind of lace your, uh, or thread your USB mouse through that top part right here. This part right here, these are actually springs, so they will bend and open up. So you can plug that in. You can have your mouse basically wired right through there. Looks like we got some, I uh, don't know if those are buttons or adhesive strips. But then, look, this is basically a USB hub. we got USBs all over the place. So that also will help your management. Uh, maybe you have a headset. You have some, some headphones that you'd like to use. Well, now you can maybe if you put a hook on the side of your desk, well, you can still have the wires ran through the back, through behind, and then connect into that USB hub. That's one option you have. Another option I looked at here is this is actually a pretty nice uh, 
wireless uh, headphones, or not, I shouldn't say wireless headphones, but you can put any headphones you want on here. It has some very cool L R RGB, and guess what? It looks like this one also has a charging unit on it. So there's a lot of different things you guys can do. I mean, just take a look at Amazon. I mean, right now, this USB hub, $24.99 and then 5% off of that at checkout. And I'm an Amazon Prime member, so that's free shipping too. That's a no-brainer right there, guys. That is a no-brainer. Let me show you that. I'm sorry, I didn't uh, pull up the screen cap. So right here, again, it's a USB hub. Very cool lighting and RGB on here. $24.99, 5% off. The Amazon deals, I mean, no, this channel, no, this channel and this video is not sponsored. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm sneezing. Also, there's other things you can kind of spruce up your desk. We got this RGB desk mat. Now, something like this, I would recommend if you have a dark top. If you have a dark desktop, then go for it. Me, I have this wood panel one. And that's another thing I want to do. I want to go with something darker to help with that aesthetic. So, and if you notice in my card here, I also have some inexpensive key lights that I want to try to use for better lighting with the cameras I now have. Okay, I found these for forty-two ninety-nine. They can go on a desk, or they can stand up on their own. I think that's actually pretty damn cool. Now, we could sit here for a lot longer and I can go through a bunch of ideas that you may want to take take up, you know, a bunch of different accessories you might be interested in. I mean, I was also looking at something like this. There's different things you guys can look at, guys. I just wanted to give you guys some food for thought because this is something that's dawned on me uh, tremendously as of late, okay? This is something that's dawned on me and I just wanted to share my thoughts, my concerns with you guys. Because I'm sure you're in the same boat as me. Limited space, limited funds, limited resources. So what are you going to do? So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to keep doing some looking, trying to find the best deal. And honestly, that's the best advice I can give anyone out there. Don't just settle for the very first thing you find, guys. Shop around. You might find a desk at, you know, walmart.com or, you know, I don't know about Target. I even heard someone recommend uh, Ollie's, which is a discount outlet. Shop around, guys. Take your time finding what you think is going to work best for you, okay? The only person that knows, you know, you could go through a thousand different videos just like I have. These, you know, these reviewers, nothing against them. They're doing tremendous because obviously they... They have, you know, 10,000, 25,000, 30,000 subscribers. Obviously, they're doing something right. But you know what? The only person that's going to know what is the best desk for you is you guys. Are you a tech reviewer? Are you an unboxer? You want to have a pretty good, solid space. Not only from the back, but out. You want to be able to put a box without worrying about it sliding off, right? You want to be able to have plenty of arm room for cutting that box open or for opening up or showing the product having a nice good full view. You want to have plenty of space. That's one of the big things that we have to worry about, guys. Is Do you have plenty of space? Do you have plenty of room? Maybe you're not a person like me. You don't have another set of monitors, so you have an open space here. That's great. But not everyone's going to be the same, guys. That's what I'm trying to get at. Think about what you want the desk to be able to do and think about how you're going to be using that desk. If you're a YouTuber, you're a streamer, think of what you're going to have. If you're a streamer, you want to have maybe a cup holder so you can have your beverage on the side or maybe a hook for your for your headphones. Or guess what? If there's a desk that doesn't have that stuff but you still kind of like that desk, well guess what? You can go to your local Ace Hardware, you can go Home Depot, Lowe's, hell, Walmart. You can get brackets that you can connect right onto your desk or your table or whatever you're going to use. Okay? You can put your own cup holder on there. You can put your own headphone hook right there, guys. These are all things you can do. Just because something doesn't have... Just because something isn't 100% perfect doesn't mean you can't make it 100% perfect. Okay? It's going to be your desk, your space, your studio. So you do what you want with it, guys. Okay? 
This is Dave from Dave's Dimension coming at you with all the honesty, all the thoughts and questions that I'm sure you might think of or that you have already thought of, guys. I'm just trying to give you a little slice of my thoughts, my concerns, and there it is. Plain and simple, I'm not talking into buying anything, I'm just bringing these questions out to you so you can think it through, guys, okay? Another thing is, I have some LED lights that hang up from the ceiling, and obviously if you look close enough, you can see the tape, you can see the wires. I want to try and do something a little bit smoother, a little bit better. It's all coming through the pipeline, guys. You're gonna, you're, there's going to be another video, kind of a follow-up with this, relatively soon. I don't know exactly when, but it's going to be coming soon, guys. So, Until next time, guys, you know what I'm going to say. This is Dave from Dave's Dimension. Keep on busting, and I will always catch you on the flip side.